What's up my sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed morning to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. Alright, so coming up in this one, we see where Trinidad and Tobago, they are all set to host eight games in this year's staging of the CPL. Yes man, CPL 2022, Trinidad and Tobago set to host eight games. So we're going to be talking about that. We also, you know, see where we are expecting a mouth-watering clash pretty soon between Shelly and Fraser Price and Shakara Richardson. So we're definitely going to talk about that before we close off the video. But while you are listening, man, if you have not yet subscribed, touch the subscribe button, man. Touch the subscribe button. Give the video a like. And make sure you drop a comment before you come off. Zane, don't click off unless you like the video, man. All right, so let's get straight into it. So as we know, CPL 2022 is basically up on us they will be starting in august this year so you know um the 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 the, the people in the jacket and the suit they are planning and making sure that everything is coming into place and yesterday they announced that eight games will be hosted in trinidad and tobago for the 2022 staging you know just to remind you guys the the cpl will start on the 30th of august i think yeah man the 30th of august um, the party in sports, the biggest party in sports is what they call it, will get on the way. And uh, the eight games scheduled for Trinidad and Tobago will be played between uh, September 12 and 18. So between September 12 and 18, those that are living in Trinidad and Tobago and, you know, whether you want to travel and go there or whatever, you know, the, uh, <laughs> between the 12 and 18, they will be having um, their games there. And, um, you know, the, the, the Trinidad and, well, Trinidad will be playing in, at, in four of those games. So eight games, I think, will be played and they will take part in four out of those eight. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, all the cricket loving fans over there in Trinidad and Tobago, you definitely can get yourselves together, get your planning up and running because, you know, um, August will definitely be one to 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 yeah, one 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 to, to to anticipate i mean your games will be between the 12 and the 18 but the biggest party in sports starts on the on the 30th of august you know and um as i said the a couple of persons involved in politics over there you know i think the, the sports minister along with um a few personnel from cpl they spoke about um you know the the uh, trinidad's uh hosting eight of the games and you know it's it's a good look it's a good look i think he was a sports minister that spoke and had quite a few things to say no i have some quotes here and the first one says the government of tnt you know is excited to partner up with cpl they went on and they say we welcome the biggest party in sport to the island or to the home of carnival so basically giving us a little bit of um, thing they're letting us know that here what this is the biggest party in sport CPL that is and they are coming to the home of carnival They went on and they said um, this serves as an investment right into a uh, position in TNT as a regional um, Leader where sport is concerned. So, you know, they, they, <laughs> they're saying um, They want to make sure that they show off their, their quality and all of that and show that here what they are a force to be reckoned with are you know they are leading from the front when it comes on to um regional sport uh so that is what uh they, they are saying there so fans you know according to them fans will be welcomed back they spoke about the, the pandemic and the fact that you know fans had to be home and thing like that so the stadium or the stands will be open to the fans no i think it was 2020 that the staging uh cpl was actually staged in in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, but it was actually behind closed door. So the games, you know, only on the people that were involved in the running of the game actually got a chance to be there. So you know, major the fans, all of the fans had to had to stay home. So it's it's a good look. It's definitely a good look. Right now, I feel jealous. You know what is happening for Jamaica? I mean, I am not there to watch the games. You know, but I know the Jamaican people are going to want to see their um they are going to want to see their their team you understand we say guyana um come out and show that here what you know they are up there they are going to be hosting the next three finals and you know see Trinidad step up now so let me come let us see let us see let us see you understand um 
uh, well, they, they, they talk, they, they spoke about the scheduling and they said that half of the matches will be played at 10 a.m. You understand, offering great family um, entertainment. So uh, half of the games will be played in the morning. And um, the, according to them, CPL, they are actually working with the local schools and the cricket clubs to get the youngsters coming in to watch the game. So whether they are, it's a scheduling thing or they are working out prices where, where they are going to subsidize uh, tickets for youngsters or whatever, they are working to make sure that they can have some youngsters in to watch um, the, the, the cricket. You know, they said that this is a way to encourage young people to, to, to attend. It's a way to make sure that um, they, they stay in love with the game and they are able to see some of the, some of the most um, dominant T20 players that the world has to offer. Now, uh, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, they will actually be playing their games in the evening. Yeah, man, I think all of their games will be playing will be played in the evening. Now, we know traditionally, they usually have the evening games. You understand uh, the home teams, you know. They, they, traditionally, they usually have evening games. And I mean, when it comes on to CPL people and, and T20 cricket in general, people like when, when they can watch some cricket in the evening. So, say for example, the game might start like, um, I don't know, it five o'clock, six o'clock, I don't know. Anyway, they are about, you know, people go to work and come home and, you know, can watch some cricket and eat the lights and, and thing. If you want to start it at four o'clock and then it go up into the night, then it means people will get a chance to leave work and, and stop off and watch some cricket. So, uh, you know, Trinidad and Tobago positioning themselves to make sure that they, um, they, they can probably perform as well as they usually do last year it wasn't too good for them i see where they are putting together a strong a good little unit you know andrew russell is over there now uh nicholas poor and returned i think dinish ramden returned uh there so you know they're putting together a good little unit to mount a challenge you know so um let, let us see let us see where you go let us see where you go but um cpl will definitely be uh, a very very good look this year so yeah that is it for this um part of the video you know, we're just going to talk a little bit of track and field before we finish off my viewers and subscribers. So, for those who follow track and field, you know that Shelly and Fraser Price, a multi-gold medalist, um, were Olympic and, and, and World Championship and all of that is concerned from Jamaica. She is still running extremely well. I think she's about 35, if I'm not mistaken, in the mid-30s. And she is still doing well. You understand? And, you know, um... Track and field fans, they, they, they can expect a mouthwatering clash pretty soon, you know, because uh, Miss Fraser Price is expected, well, she has been confirmed uh, for the May 7th clash with, May 7th um, event, I don't want to say clash as yet, you know, but it's more, more than likely it's going to happen, more than likely she will be clashing with the American um, Shakari Richardson, you understand, and this will go down at the Kip Kino Classic in, uh, in, in Kenya. So she will be going to Kenya. A lot of persons have been posting underneath her page asking her when she will be returning to Kenya. So that is definitely what is up. And, uh, you know, as, as it relates to uh, Sherika Jackson, Sherika Jackson is also going to be there, you know, and she will be expected to compete also. Now it's May 7, as I said earlier, May 7. And, you know, it's a day that you guys need, to, it's a date that you guys need to mark on your calendars. Because if all three ladies turn up, you know, and in good shape, this will definitely be something to watch. I mean, you know, we would have seen where athletes would have given a lot of talk and this and that. And when they turn up, you know, things don't do work out for them. But it's, it's definitely going to be a good look. It's going to be a good look, you know. I mean, she, uh, Fraser, Fraser Price, she hasn't opened up her, her, her 2022 season as yet. You know, um, so it's you know we, we are not sure what sort of shape she is in. So uh, she's actually preparing for the World Athletics Championship, and you know she definitely would want to sign off with another medal, gold medal that is. You know, but um, it's 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 going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but uh, she's still in good shape. So you know, um, never say never is what they always say. So um, I think I think it's going to be in July. The World Championship that is coming up is going to be in July. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely something to look out for. No, Sherika Jackson, as I said, she has opened her season already. I think even a couple of weeks ago, she 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 actually ran in an indoor 60 meter race, ran her lifetime base in that one. So she is looking as if she, you know, she's shaping up to 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 put down something good in 2022. So 
Uh, May 7 my viewers and subscribers, Shakari Richardson, uh, Shelly and Fraser Price, and Sherika Jackson, they have confirmed so far, so it's a possibility that some clashing will go on. So we're going to leave it right here for now, my wonderful peeps. Enjoy the rest of your day, and make sure to keep yourself safe. Zin, big up on yourself.